Hey friends and welcome back. Today's video is going to be my project pan slash project use it up. Um, I have a whole basket full of things. Um, I actually probably need to declutter my makeup because I got this the other day off Amazon. Um, it was on sale for like $13, but I realized I have a lot of stuff that does not fit on that and that's going to be like my go-to caddy. So after this, I will probably do like a makeup organization slash clean out because I have a lot and I'm like a little bit of a hoarder to where if I buy something and like I grow really attached to it, I don't want to throw it out just because I don't know. I'm just like, I got this. I remember when I got this type of person. And I'm just like, but you're not using it or I've used it like 10 or 15 times and then I just stopped using it, which there's not like a reason I just got other things and it kind of just started collecting dust but also I'm filming this on my phone which I will probably start filming a lot of videos on my phone because unfortunately I think this has kicked the bucket after five years um, I did notice that where is it there's like a crack forming and I never use this little input jack or whatever but there's a crack starting um, I've charged both my batteries in the past couple of days and every time I go to turn it on it tells me to charge the battery um, so I don't know what's going on the autofocus is also just like really jacked up and now this phone is telling me that I have 40% um, or 20% battery so you know we're just you know having a, a great time here so we're gonna try to fly through this. Um, I am chatty, so we'll see how actually good this works. But um, for my products, I do have a lot of like travel size items in here that I just need to use up and get rid of. There are also a couple of items that are getting ready to like expire, meaning that that says on the package that, you know, open it and use it within 12 months type situation. So I'm like, probably should use this. And then there's just like, a mixture of things there's some oral hygiene there's some shaving there's some body there's you know some soaps and things so we're just gonna jump right in okay so i think i'm gonna start with like the bigger heavier items first and then work my way down to the tiny items because i did just shove the tiny items in here so they've kind of all fallen here there and everywhere the first thing i'm going to use up is this colgate swish mouthwash i do have another backup mouthwash that i like better than this so i just need to use this up um and i didn't really use mouthwash after i got my wisdom teeth out because i was one really afraid that it was going to burn even though that doesn't have alcohol in it i don't know i just was really terrified that it was either gonna like burn or something was gonna happen because i had giant holes in my mouth um i I know how ridiculous that sounds, but yeah. So I just need to use that up um, for body wash. I have this Kiwi & Co um, body wash, which it smells really good because it's got honey in there, but I've had this like for a hot minute and I still have this much left. So I just need to get it done and over with. And then I can start using a lot more of my Bath & Body Works ones um, because Honestly, I have like three different shower products, like body washes in there. Um, and so, like I said before, I like gravitate to one, like I get obsessed with one and then the other ones just start kind of collecting on the side of the tub. Um, along with that kick is this Skin Timate Shave Gel, which I honestly think I've only used once or twice and then again this kind of went to the wayside just because i was like i'm using nourishing body wash i don't need to use a shave cream but um it is winter time and i have noticed that shaving irritates my skin a little bit um so it becomes more dry um so i'm gonna start using this because this does have vitamin e and things in there um also because i noticed on some of these projects use it up um a lot of people use permanent markers which i think is a great like indication of how much you're actually using because for me I'm like I just eyeball a lot of things and I'm like oh yeah I've got like you'll see with this like um face wash I have I'm like I'm almost done with this and then I actually like felt in the container like how much I have left I'm like there's like a lot more than I thought so we're just gonna go ahead and I'm left-handed so I don't even think you're gonna be able to see the mark but 
we're making a thick line there with that we'll see how far we get and i think i'll probably do like maybe a checkup at the end of january give myself a month because i know it's not gonna be like two weeks and i'm done with these products um go, moving on is this hemp's pomegranate lotion i think i've had this for like two or three years honestly um and i think i have because obviously you can't see but I think I have about this much left. So that's where I'm going to make my mark. And there's nothing wrong with this. Again, nothing wrong with this. It's just I gravitate to other scents. And then I kind of forget this existed. So I do. If I hold it up to the light, I can kind of see. So I'm just going to make a mark. I have about half the bottle left. But I have been getting a lot better about like after I get out of the shower with like things that come in a pump using these because I have all the bath and body work stuff, but then I have another hemp lotion that still has like all the packaging on top. So I may give that to my mom because she doesn't have nearly as many lotions as I do. So I may do that. Um, the next item is this e.l.f. toner. I really do like this. It's just, I can't use toner a whole lot or I feel like my skin is super drying out and cracky. So, um, it's just like a brightening one it smells so much like lemons i'm trying to see if this says exactly what's in here um it just says fruit acids but it does have a very like lemony citrus but like a sweet citrus scent to it so we're just gonna make our mark here and see how much i'm honestly just gonna be 100 percent with you i think this will probably take me two to three months to use this consistently um just because I've had that for almost a year and I've only used that much of it. Um, moving on are these makeup wipes. Obviously I can't make a mark in here, but let some of the air out there. These were something I got. I got a lot of this stuff either free with Ulta purchases or um, in BoxyCharm, which I have like, sub like subscribed and then unsubscribed and then subscribed again. And currently I'm not subscribed, so I can kind of catch up on using all these things, but it said that there were 60 towelettes in here, and I don't know how many I've used, but we're just gonna kind of keep on these. Um, it does have witch hazel in it, which I just kind of use these at night to take my makeup off. So um, there are kind of some days if I, I work out and I feel like a little bit greasier, I'll use those, but that's like a two month supply, so. We'll see, I may get done with that. Um, this is an item that I just randomly found and I know I got these from Dollar Tree. They are aloe wipes. Um, they're supposed to be for like, obviously if you get sunburn and stuff, but I'm just gonna use these to see if they're any sort of moisturizing for my face. Um, and if they don't work out, honestly, I'll probably just toss them because I've had them for a while. Um, and I really do hate tossing things, but then, in the back of my mind, I'm like, the reality is it doesn't work for you. And I know other people in my life have kind of like their own certain things that they don't like to branch away from. So there's not really anything else they can do with it. Um, because a lot of the shelters and donation places here do not take open or used items. So again, kind of a dead end there. Here is the face wash that I was talking about where for the longest time, it, there's like air up here and I cannot get it out for the life of me. So I kept thinking like squeezing, squeezing this. There is like the teeniest, tiniest hole in this and it's dripping because I used this this morning, but the product comes out. So like I would squirt what I was thinking was a whole lot on here and it's not. Um, so I feel like I've had this for like ever, but um, let's see if I can hold this up to the light. I honestly, you can't even see. So I'm just gonna go based off of where I feel like it's jelly, which I think it's somewhere over here. So we're just gonna mark that. Um, I'm hoping I can get this done in a month. We'll see. Just because I don't really use a whole lot, like a little bit goes a long way with that. So um, moving on is just, gonna be this um gum and enamel repair i got this before i got my wisdom teeth out and this is kind of the only toothpaste i do have another crest whitening toothpaste um in my bathroom as well but 
I was trying to use this up when I got my wisdom teeth out just because it does have the gum and enamel repair. And in my little brain, I was like, this says gum repair. It is gonna make my holes in my mouth repair even quicker. I uh, don't think it did that, but honestly, it helped me get through a lot of the tube of toothpaste. So we're just gonna make a mark here. And I've got it about right there is what I can tell. And this should be completely doable to use that up if I use that on a constant basis because I do sometimes gravitate to using my whitening toothpaste a lot more just because um, when I got my wisdom teeth out, I wasn't able to drink through a straw. So I was drinking all of my coffee and staining my teeth where normally I drink through a straw. So we're getting back on track. This is just... I just need to learn to use this because I have Epsom salts and I have Bath and Body Works um, bubble bath and salts and things like that that I need to use. So I just need to use this. This was like a trial pack that I got. Um, this deodorant, uh, I honestly don't know if I'm going to use this up or if I'm just going to pitch it. I'm very much on the fence about pitching it. It is the ivory gentle deodorant with a hint of oatmeal. This does not work. And I'm saying it does not work for like working as in like putting it on and then going out and going to work and things like that if you're just sitting around your house and you need like a little touch up because you're starting to feel a little wet or like stinky i mean it does the job but if you're actively doing things or like actively out in the world this does not work and you start getting wet and sweaty and stinky i don't know how many times where i've just like been in a hurry and used this and then like three hours later, I'm like, why do I feel like I reek? And it's because freaking I used this. So that's probably gonna be on the pitch it list. Um, for big items, this is gonna be the last one. This is a brand new, I just started using this, but I have eight hand soaps and I don't need that many hand soaps because I live alone. So we're just gonna try and use this. This is the frozen lake one. Um, use that as much as possible. So. I am keeping that in my bathroom. I do have a soap down by my kitchen sink, but I realized I don't really wash my hands down there that much with like regular soap. Like most of the time, I'm not gonna lie, I grab dish soap out of habit because I'm just down there cleaning stuff. So now on to all of the tiny items. Um, somehow I acquired two of these. I don't know how, but I'm gonna put these downstairs um next to my couch because a lot of the times that's where I just kind of hang out and that's when I kind of notice that like my feet like when I realize that my feet are dry or that my hands are extra dry I'm like oh yeah and then I have to come all the way upstairs but if I put these on my side table I will use these um and I honestly cannot remember for the life of me how I acquired two of them but we're gonna at least try and use one so we'll make a mark on this one. This one's not even at all. So we're just gonna make a mark on this side, maybe? Kinda even. You know what? I'm just gonna make a mark right here because it seems like that that's where it's at, which isn't too bad. This one does seem like it's a little more liquid than the other one, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, next up is this Paul Mitchell Travel Size Shampoo. This is something that I received from Ulta and as like a free gift. I don't even remember when I bought to get this because there's this and then I have another set. The other set I will be using for when I travel. These are wet because I've been trying to use these, but it says Hydrate condition Shampoo and Conditioner. I honestly think these suck. Um, they are like a vegan formula, but it's not a good vegan formula. So, so I didn't get my desk all wet. Um, we're just gonna say that we're gonna try and use all of these up. They are 1.7 fluid ounces, so it shouldn't take too long, but um, I did get in an influencer box uh, this week, a Pureology set. So I got a shampoo and conditioner, which I used the other day which is a volumizing one, works a thousand times better. Um, and it's because it's a vegan formula than this. And then they gave me, I think it's a volumizing hairspray or hair protectant for like heat. I'll have to double check on that. But 
that is part of the reason why I want to use this up so then I can just have one shampoo and conditioner um, in my bathroom. Um, I do have a Garnier one that's like a vegan formula as well that I'm about to use up. So I didn't add that in here because I know that that's basically got like one or two uses and then it's done. Um, for chapstick, I have this Burke's Bees chapstick. Um, this may get thrown out as well just because I've had it for a while and I tried using it the other day and the consistency just seemed off. So we're going to put that in the back. I'll kind of come back to it and think maybe if it's just because it was sitting in my car and it's been like warm and then cold and then warm, maybe if it kind of stays in a stable condition, it'll um, be normal. I don't know. Um, this other hair product is this Aveda Botanical Repair. I did use this once, so there is just like a little bit, but I want to remind myself to use this up and then toss it. Um, I don't know if this is a vegan formula or not. It doesn't say, but this does really good job at moisturizing my hair, which I do tend to have like a little bit of coarse hair um, and like poofy hair. So it really does work very well. I did look up online to see because I was like, maybe I want to purchase the full size and it's like 50 or 60 bucks. So I was like, mm, maybe not, maybe not. Okay. Moving on, um, this is another item that I got from my BoxyCharm. I have about half of this left. This is just a retinol and vitamin E. So this is really good for um, like fine lines and wrinkles, I think is what this was technically for. To improve overall skin texture, protect the skin from free radicals, moisturize the skin. Um, and it's supposed to help brighten your skin as well. So we're just gonna make a little mark here on the bottle. For that and then I've got this Go Smile whitening thing that I need to use just to see I don't think it's gonna do anything I have this bath bomb that I need to use and I don't even know what brand this is I've had it so long I'm I don't even know if it'll fizz at this point I'll probably drop it in the tub and it'll just gonna like bleh. um this Kiehl's uh, cannabis sativa seed oil and herbal concentrate I honestly have just been using this on my face um, as like a face oil when I do my gua sha. So I know I will use that up. And then what else do I got? I have this Whey Detox Shampoo. I am going to try this out. I'm going to try going like several days without washing my hair. So I have like product buildup and stuff just to see how well this works. I know that this is going to be an expensive replacement if I really like this just because of the brand. But... I need to use my stuff up. Um, going along with that, I have a Derma E thickening shampoo, um, therapeutic mint and herbal blend. So I need to use those up as well. And honestly, uh, I probably shouldn't use like four different types of shampoo on my hair because it's probably gonna like confuse the crap out of it, but mm, we'll see, it's a test. Um, this is another item that I got like in like a little influencer box. They were like, can we send you like trial size items? I'm like, sure. And I'm like, this is the teeniest, tiniest thing, but it's Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate, which I do have another eye product in here. This Cheer Me Up um, Eye Brightening Vitamin C that I got in a boxy charm that I need to use, but this works really well. You just can't get it too close to your eyelids or your eyes or like, I don't know if it's just me, but my eyes start watering a lot when I use this. It does work for dark circles, but it just, if you accidentally like rub your eye or like one time, I think I used it on my eyelids like as an overall because I was getting like darkness and then like discoloration on my eyelid. And I was just like, we'll just put it all over and see if it works. Bad idea. Do not do that. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just going to assume this is like a nighttime wrinkle cream. It has the tiniest little like scoop on it too. So I don't know how many uses we'll get out of this, but this is like a little night routine item. Um, this Catrice lip treatment, it just says with shea butter. Honestly, I think this is just shea butter because when it gets cold, it gets really hard to scoop out. Um, this may be an item that I just pitch because I've had it for over a year and it says six months is the deadline for this. So 
it may be just so difficult to use because it is past expiration. So we'll, we'll be on the fence about that one. Um, the next items, like I have this moon whitening pen that I also need to use up. I've had this probably for a good eight to 10 months maybe. I don't know how much is left in this, but use that up. I will not be repurchasing that just because I don't think it did that great of a job. I have like charcoal powder that works a thousand times better. Um, at whitening my teeth in that, but um, this is a Murad Retinol Youth uh, Renewal Serum. This is just like a little trial size that I got with an Ulta order. I'm not sure how much is left because I have used quite a bit of this um, and I really do like it. I just know, again, this is going to be a pricier product if I want to um, get the full size, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, this Lancome UV Expert Aqua Gel Defense 50 sunscreen. Um, I think I am just going to use this up because even though it's winter time, you can still get sunburn, um, and things like that or face like damage to your skin. So I think on the days that I do like no makeup days, I'll just use that. And then I have this Philosophy Nature in a Jar. I don't know. I think this is a moisture. Yeah. Recovery moisturizer. I was going to say. I couldn't tell if it was a moisturizer or a face wash because I get a ton of these like little philosophy things in sample packs. So this is another moisturizer that I can use. And then I have quite the amount of face masks and I love my family very much, but it seems like every time there's like a holiday or something, they or like a birthday celebration thing, they give me face masks and I'm like, it's nice. I don't think I'm like that about it. I do understand like some of these, like these are like vegan masks. So I'm sure that's why my cousins got them for me. Um, but there's a lip mask, an eye mask, and then just like a full face mask that I need to use. And then these two elf hydrating sheet masks, also vegan. So I'm pretty sure that's why I received those. This soap and glory one, I think it was just kind of like part of a set or something. It's for pore refining masks. I don't really have like really large pores. I just do have some texture on my face. So I don't know. Is this with willow bark, lemon balm, tea tree, lavender, eucalyptus? I may use this maybe if I have like a breakout or something, but I don't think this is gonna be like, if my skin's doing really well, I wanna use this because I feel like it might be a little drying. It does say for oily and combination skin. So my skin really isn't oily in the winter, so. That is going to be it for everything that was in this bin and everything I'm going to try and use up within, I will say like the next month and a half. So at the end of January, we will recap and see what all I got rid of. This basket is basically just going to sit um, on, above my toilet um, so I can remember to use a lot of these products. I do obviously need to put some of these back by the sink and in the bathroom, but for like the little items i'm just gonna set it there that way it's kind of like a constant reminder to use them um so yeah i thank you guys so much for watching because i told you it was gonna be short and we're already at 23 minutes but it just happens it happens okay but thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye guys